everyone if you follow my videos you know that sylvia left my island uh and this means when a villager leaves your island there's an empty space which you can recruit another villager invite another villager to your island so in this case you need to visit mystery islands and then those uh random uh, villagers will appear uh, so this is the way where you can actually uh, search for a certain uh, villager that you want into your island to invite it to your island um, and have them there and uh, interact with them. Now I don't usually spend a lot of time on this until I, I mean I spend like two or three uh, 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 nook mile uh, tickets and then if I see one that I actually like I invite them. Uh, sometimes I don't do this and just automatically after I think like two days another villager comes and replaces the one that left. But here you can see me actually in the L. This is the thing, the second island that I visit, and then I met this cute little robot dude. This is a robot character, believe it or not. Now you need to understand that I'm not familiar with the characters. Yeah, for me, just seeing them for the first time. Uh, so I read about Rebot. Uh, is a jock frog villager, uh, and it's kind of a robot face. Uh, according to fandom, it says uh, his name is Portamanto of the sound made by frogs ribbit uh, and the name of the human like machine a robot is japanese name comes from onomatopoeia for metal reading gacha gacha is one of the few villager in the game who are not technically animals along with sprocket dell and stitches so first of all this is the first time i actually uh, found a character which is not any technically an animal uh, and of course it looks really cute, a nice little face and I actually was enjoying kind of interacting with him because he doesn't have like those uh, uh, familiar uh, face gestures that you see on other uh, type of villagers on my island uh, which was a bit different for a change. And he's kind of a, a sportive guy, although I had two of them already on my island And uh, but again as I told you I'm not gonna, so I'm probably gonna spend like uh, do like 20 or 30 uh, mystery islands uh, until they find one uh, I'm not gonna do this uh, so it looks really cute and different and interesting so I've decided to uh, invite him to my island although in some way I don't like hearing sports all the time over the two characters so I really like to see some different type of interaction uh, than just character talking about their abs and their muscles all day that being said uh, uh, one of the others I'm gonna replace uh, whatever the time comes uh, so I don't mind and the good thing is that you get to uh, meet different characters uh, and interact with them over a certain period of time because eventually some will leave. Uh, this happens not frequently. Uh, of course you can uh, expedite it if you want but uh, it doesn't happen uh, very often. But enough, I mean it's kind of uh, in terms of uh, time, it doesn't take too long where you find actually someone which can which think about leaving and uh, this is the time to replace them. The good thing is that there are hundreds of characters in this game so you're gonna meet plenty of them. Uh, of course there is also uh, some uh, players that hunt for specific characters uh, and there's also a black market for it where people actually make some leave, some characters leave and, and sell them for other, um, other players or trade them. But this whole idea, I mean I'm not into this uh, to be honest. Uh, for me it's just fun interacting with the different characters and I'm happy that I have the option uh, over time to meet new villagers and let some leave although it's kind of sad to uh, make a character even if you don't get along with it too much to make them leave and say goodbye to them i mean that's what happened with sylvia and i in some way i, I miss her uh we had a good time together but it's part of the fun of the game is meeting the new villagers and interacting with them so the thing is that i don't want to release many of them like spend 20 uh look mile tickets in order to just skip 20 uh villagers so what I'm going to do, I'm just trying like you know, one, two, or three at, at most and I invite them because I know it's going to be a long time and this game is going to be there for a long time. So I don't just want to rotate all the villagers really fast. So if you can rotate like 20 of them, it's going to be relatively fast. Now every one uh, um, villager more popular than the other, I don't care about the popularity because I'm searching for the ones that I personally like the most. Uh, you can find one, for example, uh, Sylvia. Uh, I didn't like it that much. It was fun, but some people actually liked her. Uh, but it's the same for uh, many other villagers. 
And for me, part of the fun is indeed inviting villagers, meeting with them, interacting with them, and then after some time, uh, replacing them. Of course, there will be some that I probably won't replace, probably one or two which are going to be very close friends, like Marina, for example. I don't see myself replacing her. Uh, so this is it, just a quick look at uh, my visit to the Misty Island and inviting Rebo to my island and it will arrive tomorrow. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, cheers, bye bye.